this is a tri-field EMF meter. Uh, it's set up to be able to detect microwave uh, RF, which is the setting it's on currently, the bottom one down here. And it's got an electric field setting, and then it's got two magnetic settings for different sensitivities, a 0 to 3 and a 0 to 100 uh, milligauss, I believe it is, yep. Uh, but it's set on the RF electric, uh, or the radio slash microwave setting, so we walk it in. I'm actually showing you the Slayer exciter circuit, which is set up and running on 18 volts currently. Uh, at 450K uh, is the current resistance. As you can see, um, I gauge that about two feet from the coils. Maybe two and a half, three feet. But it's pegged and wiggling out. So you come in about that far, and you can back out from it, and it takes away for that to drop off, which is losing the RF coupling. You know, I expect this is similar to when you go and take the screwdriver and touch it to the uh, coil and to start the arc and then pull the screwdriver away to establish the arc, right? This device, you know, it gets into here where it's going to be picking up and detecting the RF, the radio field, right? And then it's coupled. hard to show that. The meter's about a foot long, so it's about three of those in between there, I guess. The scope, that is. Uh, so it's coupled, and then you can draw this back out. Another, uh, I mean, it's another couple feet before it drops off. The electric field actually looks similar, except that it doesn't have the effect of needing to couple, right? It just detects. To get in here, and it, it's detecting whack pulse. This thing's on and running. It's uh, it's running at about 350 kilohertz thereabouts. But this is the electric field. And this is about the same distance as before. You can see there's always a constant field of about uh, six, five, something like that. You can see it. Right? closer you get, the more pegged the electric meter becomes, the electric reading. So in here you've got a constant field which is electric, which is above the detecting level. So I was curious that it has this pulse that's developed, you know, out here, it picks up. And the magnetic field actually is very hard to detect. You have to actually get right up in on the coils. So you switch it over to the 0 to 100 magnetic effect. Right. It's on magnetic now. We'll bring this one in. You'll note the same pulse. But, I mean, I have to get like right up on the wire. the magnetic pulsing up off the 100 scale. Alright, that's that's only a couple inches off it. So the magnetic is actually well contained by the coils. Whatever the other coil, the drive coil. The electric field, which is the result of the RF field, uh, those two fields are quite extensive. And that's all from the Slayer Exciter. So, not sure what to make of that, but it's something that can be noted with just this field meter from Tri Field. Tri Field meter model 100 XE. Anyway, curious stuff. That's running at the uh, 18 volts which means it's probably drawn about 800 milliamp. Uh, actually, it's got the 450 kilo ohm resistance in there, so it's probably at about 600 milliamp, since it's about 300 with just 9 volts. Anyway, oh, just a 
show you this is actually all on and 